Good morning, y'all. I'm way out here farm. It's uh, kind of a foggy morning this morning. We had a lot of rain yesterday afternoon. I don't know how much we had, but there were flood warnings all over this part of the state. But it rained pretty good. It rained hard. It didn't really storm, just some hard, hard, hard rain. But, uh, Sun's supposed to come out. It's actually 60 degrees this morning. That's a lot warmer in the mornings than it has been. It's been some chilly mornings in the past couple weeks. And it's it's really foggy. The good Lord's gonna bring that sun up after a while and it's gonna burn that fog off. We're gonna go on our morning walk and see what we can see and the grass is, well, the grass and the weed is really greening up, but there is some grass coming up, too, and that's great. We're going to see if we can't get to work on our fence and get a lot of that done. We've had stuff come up and weather and everything else that kind of put us on the back burner on the fence, but that's okay. We ain't got nobody telling us to hurry up and get it done. Yeah, it's a foggy, foggy morning. So we're going to go on our morning walk and get the cows fed and see what we can get into so y'all hang around. Here comes that sun peeking up over the trees and the fog. It's pretty. You know, if you walk around and Get out in God's creation and pay attention. He'll show you some beautiful stuff. I mean, his artwork is amazing. Oh, it's just unreal what you can see if you pay attention. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah, we walked around out here in the pasture kind of looking around. Everything's greening up. I need to get out here on my bush hog when this dries up. This is where I had them bales at. Kind of spread that out. I mean, there's going to be some stuff grow up in there, but it's kind of thick. I could get my bush hog out. Push some of it over there and piled it up. Be good compost. There's another brush pile I need to burn, and still got a lot of limbs laying around out here that fell off of the trees during the ice storm. I need to gather up. That's more of them chores one of these days. All right, we fixing to head on back, crank the tractor up. I guess we need to bring another bale out here so they'll have something to chew on. And we're going to get to working on that fence.
in that quick creek mixed up to put around them posts. My bucket, well, water got a leak, but it's actually working out pretty good because it's dripping in the tub that I'm using. I don't have to pour it in there to let it drip a little bit at a time. Pretty good invention, huh? see if I can use my hay spare to roll that stuff off. We'll see what happens.
This is what I'm talking about when a cow has a calf and a buzzard to try to get him. I think she just had a calf and them buzzards are out there trying to eat it, get a hold of it. buzzard had already got on it it looked like she had just had it this morning and i didn't never it was foggy this morning i always look out there and there's uh several cows out there but i you know i couldn't tell what was what but i ain't saying i didn't see the butters kill it but they'll do it and they was flat on it and uh she was trying to run them off but she didn't 
couldn't get them off of it so i don't know you know that's one of them deals that you don't like to see but it happens you just got to watch out you know when you all right we got our last two strands of wire on this part right here and we're gonna have to do something else i thought this piece of chain link fence would hold it pretty good but when I stressed it, it kind of pulled it. I don't know, it may still hold, but the bottom three strands kind of loosened up when I pulled those top two strands, but that's all right, I can tighten those up. I may have to put me a big post down there where that's, that's at. At least we got the wire string. It's tight enough, I think it would hold them, but kind of like it tight so they don't stick the head through there and waller it and waller it and loosen it up but it's it's coming along i just need to get me some a couple of gates and finish this part over here and which i'm gonna run five strands over there too whenever we can get to it but that's uh, hard of it. Yeah, it loosened up right up here too. But we'll get taken care of. All right, I uh, thank y'all for watching. It was kind of a rough day going over there and seeing that calf like it was, but this ain't Hollywood. That's real stuff right there and happens. And sometimes you can prevent it and sometimes you can't, but it was my neighbor's calf, but it still made me feel bad, <laughs> even though it was his. I broke my, my selfie stick when I was going over there. I was sitting on it when I was coming back. And I guess my big butt broke it, but I'll get another one. It'll be fine. All right, thank you all for watching. God bless.